Let's take a look and see how we're able to create a life ray module within life ray developer studio. Now there are two different ways that we can do this. We're going to start off with life ray developer studio, and then we'll take a look at the command line. So as usual, let's start by clicking file up here at the top left, heading over to new, and then we're going to select life ray module project. We're going to be calling this training portlet. Make sure that we're using Gradle. Life ray version is 7.2. We're going to keep the template the same. So aside from training dash portlet, everything else is should be defaulted. I should say we have to give our component a name. So the component class name is going to be training MVC and then portlet. This class has to reside within a package com dot dot training dot portlet. And up to you what you want to use if you want to do something a little bit different, but just following the instructions here. So you can see it's pretty easy, right? Pretty straightforward to create a project within LifeRate Developer Studio, a module project that is. Now let's take a look at how we can do the same thing using uh, the terminal. Uh, since I'm on Windows, I'm going to use PowerShell to do this. Now we're going to be navigating to the modules folder that's within our life ray workspace. So go ahead and change the directory to the modules folder. Just trying to remember uh, the name of everything here. Once you do, we're going to be following the syntax um, that we, we see within our instructions. So we're going to call blade to create dash T is a template. So what type of template? This is going to be an MVC portlet. We need to declare the package that this is going to be residing in. So we can use the same package as before, com.liferay.training. Uh, let's actually do a different one. So com liferay training portlet, uh, I'll say dot diff just to make the, the differentiation. Dash C is the next flag we need to declare. This is going to be the component class name. So we can do the same thing. If you want to do something different, feel free to do so. Right, whatever you want to call it. And then finally, the last part is going to be the name of the project. So training dash portlet dash diff. Again, whatever you want, right? Feel free to be creative with this. Uh, let's see, where did I mess up? Dash T, oh, I forgot the dash P. So that's my fault here. So dash T for template, dash P for package, and then dash C, and then project is its own. So there we go, minor mistake there. So using our IDE, we can actually see the change occur, right? So if I go through and use my Gradle refresh, so right click, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, and then there's my second project. Let's go ahead and deploy and test this out. I'm going to be using the first project here so we can drag and drop like so. Right? By dragging and dropping, this will automatically take any changes that occur within the project. Right? So this is the simpler way to deploy when we are developing our different modules or bundles. In the console, we see that our life ray module has started. We got the message there. We head back over to our instance of life right here in localhost 8080. Make sure you're logged in, clicking on the plus button up here at the top right. We'll expand the widgets drop down, and let's see if we can find the training portlet under the sample section. Go ahead and drag and drop, and very good. We've created our first life ray module. Let's take this a little bit further here. Let's do a little bit more. So heading back over, going to be working off of the same project here in the training portlet. So expanding the resources, heading over to meta inf and then resources brings us to the view.jsp. Feel free to copy and paste from your instructions here. As for me, I'm going to type this out. It's not anything too complicated. So hello, life ray in bold or I should say in its own paragraph. It's a, a P tag, not a B tag. So I'll go ahead and save. And since we dragged and dropped, these changes will happen automatically. 
just keep track of the console. Once you save, you should see the bundle or the module has started up again. And then I'll go ahead and refresh the page to see the change. So very good. This takes care of this exercise and I will see you in the next video.